Everyday DK here with some everyday goodness. You know what's good? I mean, really good? This t shirt. Oh. Well, maybe it's not that good because you can't read it because it's coming up on the screen as being read as backwards. But, came back to the ranch. You know what's good? I mean, really good. It's that time of the year again. Yes. WWE 2K17 pre-ordering is happening right now. It's going to come out later on in the year. And you know what? It's looking fantastic. And ever since Warzone came out on the N64 and the PlayStation 1, not 2, not 3, not 4, but 1, WWE video games pretty much had was just magic altogether. They had magic. And when I talk about magic, I'm talking about not just the matches and the weapons and the storylines, but the characters. It's what it's all about, in my opinion. Not really, maybe not yours, but who knows. And I always loved the, uh, the video games based on the storylines and the characters. Ever since Warzone came out, where you had each individual character have an entrance and their theme music play and it didn't matter if it was 64-bit um, audio and video or on CD-ROM type of quality on a disc it was still magic and I loved it either way uh, the characters were always phenomenal you didn't have to watch wrestling to enjoy these games. Like, you just pick somebody that matched your personality, such as Goldust, British Bulldog, Mankind, Kane, The Undertaker. I can go on and on, but there's only 16 to name, plus a few extras here and there. But, as I was saying, um, getting back to the ranch, I have really bad ADD, but that's okay. I would like to say that um, the best, one of the best, uh, looking WWE games had to be the one where you could play in the Attitude Era ones, you know, like it's Steve Austin or The Rock or Mankind. Those are really good. Or maybe I'm just making things up. It could be just one game. I'm not really sure. And if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me down in the comments below. But if I'm right, tell me I'm right. But anyway, so I really love watching the action and the gameplay of WWE uh, games. I love the cutscenes. Uh, playing it, mm, not so much. A little, a little too complex for uh, everyday DK. But I just love watching the uh, little. The little movies, the, the motions, uh, reenact the matches, stuff like that. And bravo, I bow to you, to all those that play the games, that own the games, that make the WWE want to make more games. Um, you guys are awesome. The people that make the games, promote the games. And that have anything to do with professional wrestling or indie wrestling are awesome. And yeah, go out and buy it. It's gonna be great. The graphics look phenomenal. They have backstage brawls and the commercials. And they see a little bit of hardcore, a little bit of hardcore, a little bit that much and the commercials and just check out the characters check out how fun they are because I don't know it's different when they're on TV and you're passively watching what's going on in front of you but it's like a whole new bar ball game and a whole new ear of wax when you get to control your favorite character and from the past and the present because um, a lot of folks on the games are from 
the past, such as the Ultimate Warrior and the Macho, the Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah! Well, as well as some others, some McFoley characters, Mankind, Dude Love, Cactus Jack. Bang! Have a nice day. Oh, love, love them, and I love. The imaginative storylines that the WWE s most of the time has to offer. And if you're a fan, just check it out. Buy it. Or just watch the videos of the old storylines that they used to glorify in the past games. Because some of them are cute. And some of them are really good. Some of them are cute, you know. Like, the, the Ski Mask uh, storyline has to be an all-time favorite. And uh, Tony the Vet storyline was pretty good. Um, lacking the Headbangers, as usual. But, hey, WWE is good old-fashioned good. See you later!